Please, a very big welcome to Now That's What I Call Sport on 98FM. Johnny Lyons here. This is 98FM's Now That's What I Call Sport with Jamie Moore. Okay, so here we are in Morton Stadium in Santry. It's Jamie Moore here on 98FM, so that's what I call sport on Sunday. And over the next few minutes, you're going to see me do a number of sports here. I'm here, of course, with Paralympics Ireland. They're getting ready to send about 45 athletes to Rio in 10 different sports in a couple of months' time. I'm going to do wheelchair racing, which is what I'm in now. I'm going to do wheelchair table tennis. I'm going to do a hand bike, and I'm going to do some discus throwing as well, and going on a tandem. Some really cool stuff over the next few minutes or so. Um, and now I'm going to have a go for the first time. I'm wearing these gloves, and uh, it's quite strange. I'm not going to actually turn them in with my hands. I'm going to turn them with my knuckles um, and try and reach some sort of a speed, although I don't know if I'm going to be too good at it. Anyway, let's have a go and see, see, see how we get on. Um, okay. Here we go on the track in Sandra Stadium as I nearly fall off on my first one. And off I go. Feeling my knuckles already. Turning the machine is quite difficult too, I think. As the fans are waving me in, you can see that the stadium here on my right is full with all the supporters gone. If you get a look at the crowd there or lack thereof, <laughs> I am right-handed. Okay, so that's going to be in your right hand. Okay. And your left hand is going to be used to manoeuvre the chair a little bit. Okay. So basically, you're moving in and moving out, and maybe trying to get to the right and to the left a little bit. You're not moving in too much movement. Yeah. Okay. And then and maybe I've, I've just I've just put my hand onto the wheel, so I know I can move it back and exactly. move it forwards. Exactly. And then in terms of me trying to get if if it goes to my right or to my left, I just need to go backhand across mm -hmm. the side. I'm not going to be yeah. shooting yeah. across from side now, to side. My feet aren't going to touch the ground, so oh, okay. open up the strap. No, you can. Oh, open the strap. Okay. Yeah. More, more yeah. If your feet go on the ground as a far as so okay, then right. Red target. So. Uh, do you advise me to take my hand ever off the wheel when I'm well, serving? Obviously, when I'm serving, yeah, I need to. Exactly. Yeah. When you turn the ball up to six inches, you know the rules. Yeah. yeah. So after you serve, get that hand back down there. Okay. For your stability, your mobility. And the serve is the exact same, except for the fact, like we said, that it has to go across the back of the table. So I serve it up, it bounce on my side, over the net, bounce on your side, and then we play. Straight, yeah. Okay, That's perfect. Right. Let's get ready for action. Good luck. Thank you very much, yes. Take it easy. Oh, I will. <laughs> I think that should be you taking it easy on me, in, in fairness now. No, I think you're <laughs> Okay, so um, we've just been on the hand bike with Declan. Declan did a couple of laps there. I can't feel my shoulders or my arms, and I'm not exaggerating. Well, you, you, after a couple of rides of doing it again, but you're gonna have to do it again and again and again. You know, it gets easier as time goes on because all you're doing is working different muscles. That's all it is. You know? So, uh, as people can see from the video, which is on 98fm.com, just explain to us what this sport is. Talk us through the bike, the speed you hit, stuff like that. Well, the, it's basically a hand bike. It's basically the same as an ordinary bike. Just pedal with your hands. So the speed you get up to, I was at Abu Dhabi at the weekend. We raced against a few guys, and the average speed we had over the hour and a half was 36 kilometers an hour. Now, my max speed on this is 78. So I was in Prague two years ago, and a guy passed me out. I was doing 72 kilometers an hour going down this hill, and the guy passed me out. He must be doing 90. So it, it can do crazy speeds. 72 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Lying down on a road. On the road, yeah. That sounds to me absolutely mental. That is mental. Which what's the work gonna happen? Well, you could fall off, for example. I could, yeah, but I can't break me back again. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> um, so just explain to us. You, you were telling me earlier on in 2004, uh, you had an accident that, that, that led to the spinal injury, which That's ultimately right. led to you becoming a, a Paralympic hand cyclist. Yeah, it happened in 2004. I was at home um, at my own house, changing from I was after changing my house from a bungalow to a dorm. I was a carpenter by trade. And just fell off the ladder and broke me back. So that was a life changing experience for me. But as I said before, people in Rosemont got behind me. Anything they could do for me, they done it. You know, so, and they got behind me in the hand cycling as well. So, and come 
Folk Cycling with me, we started our own hands, um, cycling club in Rosemont and everyone, we're out three or four times a night at, at the weekends and that as well, you know. It sounds like a weird thing to say, but that life-changing experience of falling off a ladder and breaking your back at the time, I'm sure, you know, you, you thought every, everything was over, but in fact, it's it's, it, it's given you this. It's given me this and it's given me that I, I know who my friends are as well, you know, and, and made, made new friends to it, and made friends all over the world because of this. And, so. and I was just saying to you there, as we were coming around it, the corner at the top I'd say in, in a race on a road it gets quite competitive in terms of lads trying to get in front of each other or, or if there's a little gap that you see you try and get through it's uh, I'm sure it's it's um, no holds barred when you're there's in the no race. There's no holds barred it's the very same as um, you can see the guys in the Tour de France or whatever it's all about getting out to the front because if you get dropped behind the race can be over within a couple of minutes. Okay girls, so um, here we are in Morton Stadium, we're on 98fm.com and I'm going to throw a discus for the first time in my life and just make sure I don't hit anybody, so maybe stand back would be ideal. <laughs> so is my target to get it to the grass? Yeah, the goalpost. Come on, over the goalpost, I wouldn't say you're the best in the world to do that. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm being laughed at for it some reason. Forward, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's step I made one. the grass. <laughs> at, least, uh, at least some sort of an achievement, no? Okay, here we go. Round two. I'm going to try and beat round one because the last one I threw like a javelin instead of a discus. No, worse. <laughs> I'm being laughed at. I think it's fair to say I'm not going to be a Paralympic athlete in any of these sports, but particularly the discus I performed terribly. Hammered 11-0 and 11-1 in the table tennis. Can't feel my shoulders after the hand bike. Blindfolded on the tandem, so I can't be playing there, but not good here. 